I wanted to get your reaction too on on NASI uh, essentially saying go ahead and 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 get the fourth dose um, rolled out, uh, and, but at the same time the numbers for people getting the first booster the, those numbers are pretty low still. That's true. As we've gone along in this journey, we found that people seem to be less fearful of getting COVID. At least that's what I'm hearing amongst my patient population, that their kids or themselves, when they get Omicron, they don't get that sick by and large. People seem to have less fear around getting COVID now, and that's leading them to be less concerned needing to get vaccinated, though everyone should get vaccinated if you're eligible and get your boosters because immunity does wane over time and you won't be as protected anymore. And it, this is also interesting. I wanted you to explain it for us, if you could, that COVID-19 can sometimes present similar to hand, foot and mouth disease in, in children and I guess also in adults. I'm seeing this rise for sure in the last couple of weeks. Myself and my colleagues at Kid Crew are seeing a lot more children and their adult caregivers with hand, foot and mouth or what we think is hand, foot and mouth, where kids and adults are getting lots of pimples in the mouth, around the mouth, their hands, their feet, and even other body parts. And my concern is that we're saying to these families, this is hand, foot, and mouth. It's a different virus. There's no need to isolate for five days from your peers. We're sending them maybe back into the world earlier than we should. And if it is a manifestation of COVID, in fact, they're not getting tested and they're going back before that five days is over. I worry that that could be spreading more of this illness. So uh, it, given that, should they be tested anyway if they're presenting those kinds of symptoms? I do believe that if your child or you are presenting with rash, that if you have access to a rapid antigen test, I do believe you should be swabbing right now. And how does, if it is hand, foot, and mouth disease and not COVID, how does that get treated? We don't. It's a symptomatic treatment. We give pain medicine if kids or adults are having fever or pain. The rash on the body comes and goes on its own without causing any scarring or anything like that. There's no medicine or cream needed for the body. It's really just symptomatic management. And when it comes to children, I'll just ask you this from, I guess, a kid crew perspective. Are you saying, as in the general population, what we're seeing is um, many people that are vaccinated and some who are boosted getting sick with COVID? Absolutely. I'm not noticing any discernible difference between my patients and their family members that are boosted or single vaxxed or not vaxxed at all and getting COVID. What is different, though, is the risk of getting severely sick with COVID or dying from COVID. That risk is much, much, much higher if you're unvaccinated or under vaccinated. Okay, Dr. Dina Kulik, thank you very much. You're welcome.